Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. We are not exactly where I left off in the previous episode. That is because apparently I forgot to save because I loaded up the latest last save and I ended up all the way at that um, lake area uh, over in that direction over there in the, uh, the, the adjacent area. So I had to go get my go find my way back over here and I was actually thinking it's actually a good thing because this is like a middle area like over here um, yeah this is where we are we have like two ways forward I think I took the left way, that's where we left off, like the, the area the, straight to the north. Uh, that is also where I want to continue, although thinking about it, tackling the area over there from the path to the right over there, actually I think is easier. There are less enemies there, but I already took this path and yeah, I tried to be a bit realistic, so I want to also uh, stick to that. It's not like, oh, I see that the game uh, here is in real life. You can also cannot snake wouldn't have the option to say, oh, yeah, or maybe he could. Um, but to backpedal and uh, try a different approach. But the only way I know that this approach, the right approach is easier than the left is because I already checked the left. I am really not making a lot of sense uh, hearing myself talk. I think in real life, Snake could also have just went with uh, another option if it's too hard. But let's just stick to this left path where we left off. Um, so that is uh, about where we are. But the thing is, uh, that's what I wanted to say, this whole area there is, of course, also a collectible frog in here. There are frogs in every area. And I don't think um, in yesterday's episode, I actually got that already. So that is probably a wise thing to do now uh, and there's so let's check where the frog is in this area then we will uh, continue ahead and there are like oh yeah one thing I wanted to mention is I noticed that the video quality actually is not that good on YouTube probably of course because it's a 720p game only resolution is not that high but in game it looks way sharper and better than actually on YouTube so I did bump up the uh, bitrate significantly. I am like 40 megabytes per second, which is way uh, uh, more than you need for only 720p resolution. But yeah, let's just hope it helps and the files don't get too big. Uh, and the other thing I noticed, that is really weird because I started this game and then uh, I noticed I forgot to save in the uh, while shutting the game down in the previous episodes uh, so I saved it again after I uh, put on my uh, uniform and double checked that uh, I had everything collected that we indeed uh, did yesterday um, then I saved the game just before I started this episode and actually the yeah, I cannot show it now because there is no load. You cannot really manually load up a game. You can only save a game. But anyways, the um, la previous last save said like I played, let's say, 9 hours and 53 minutes and 40 seconds. Then I loaded, I saved the game just now and it said played 9 hours, 53 minutes and 10 seconds it was actually a shorter duration of uh, time plate this plate uh, at, at the the latest uh, save of just now then the save of yesterday but that is of course super 
I'm not really sure that's probably a bug or something, but it's super confusing because let's say I will boot up the game in a couple of days. I will automatically look for the um, save with the longest playtime, assuming that is the latest save, but apparently that is not always the case. So it's really weird. But anyways, uh, enough babbling from me. Let's get that uh, frog, but also let's see if we can, yeah, I don't have any meat. Ah, I also don't have snakes anymore. In the previous episode, we did capture some live snakes, but apparently because I'm so stupid, I forgot to save. We don't have those anymore. But my plan was to actually throw some meat to these dogs. There are voices that say, or actually also I'm me myself expect it possible, probably, that the game uh, could actually work in such a manner that throwing meat at dogs will distract them and maybe even put them to sleep if they have like a full belly come on dog have to watch out for the electrified fence and i have to keep my eyes open shit god damn it annoying it's also really weird that dogs can trigger an alert um, all right this is actually maybe only better because this means i'm at the other side of the fence that's where i actually oh Oh, good thing I had my mind detector equipped. But it's a bit weird. I was pretty sure that before starting this game, I had all that stuff unequipped. Yes, I'm sure. I have no idea how this all works. That's probably because I had it unequipped in this area and when i entered this area i probably still had them equipped so what i will do now is unequip everything i don't want to save on stamina like so And now go back. I am actually pretty curious what happens if snake uh, touches like an electrified fence. Let's check it out. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Let's do that one more time. Come on, snake, you can do this. <laughs> All right, let's try it one last time, but now lying down. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. <laughs> All right, also a good test. Let's see how quickly Snake revives uh, half of his energy when stamina is totally full. Alright, so um, I unequipped my stuff and now let's get back in there. And now if I die in the area here, then hopefully that stuff will remain unequipped.
Alright. Oh shit. I need to watch out for the mines. They're everywhere. I don't have my mine sweeper thingy equipped. Alright, this will be a bit of crawling. Well, at the same time, keeping an eye out. Is there anything over there, I wonder? This really looks like an area that could hide something. Or have something. I don't really see an item box floating around. Alright, little froggy, where are you? Quite a lot of booby traps over here. And we have guards further down over there. Hmm. I'm a bit confused to be honest. Just looking around for the froggy. Don't really see it, but I cannot get to the other side over here. I thought there would also would have been a way to get past the fence on this side, but there's not any. Only way seems to be to the left, unless there's a hole here that I do not see, but I don't think there is. Man, snake has a lot of Claymores in this inventory, I can tell you. I don't see any froggy over here, let that be clear. Right, and the question is, how am I going to get past there. I think I am just going to crawl. I can shoot the dogs of course. I do have a full tranquilizer gun. Oh my god. God. So those dogs for sure look upwards as well. Really starting to dislike those dogs. They're pretty annoying. Oh shit. I have to get down because otherwise the claymores will explode. Screw it, I'm taking a out. Huh? 
it. There's a guy coming over. At least, sounded like a guy coming over. Second one and what the holy shit I need to get my camouflage higher camouflage higher up. Uh, I wanted actually to hold that guy up but shall we do leaf? Nope, we will be going with this one. I am going to hold this guy up. It's super funny. And also let's quickly check it. What? Holy shit, there's a third dog. I thought there were two dogs. Man, man. It's really, I really have to get better at this game. And also, how does this guy who is so far away, how does he hear like a silent shot? I find it a bit annoying. Where is that other dog? And where is the guy coming? I don't think he is coming. There is a guy, but where is that other dog? What got me caught? I have no idea. Right, let's get some better camouflage going. So weird, I used to be at 95, now I'm only at 85. I have no idea why. That's it. Those dogs, they only sleep for like a super short amount of time. Holy shit. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, but this guy is, is suddenly... Okay, so that guy didn't even see me. The guy was not alarmed. Apparently, if two dogs are alarmed, with one you're still okay. But as soon as something else gets triggered as well, I think be it an NPC or a dog, then you're in an alert phase, apparently. But it's crazy how short those dogs went to sleep. How briefly? Unless it was that guy waking them up or something. Let's just test it. Or shan't I? 
why did that guy, why does he hear these silent shots when he's all the way on the other side? It's, it's simply a bit buggy, I must say. Don't really like it. Not a fan. Man, this is a lot of trial and error, I must say. Again, that guy is now nowhere to be seen. I really don't get it. <coughs> right, now he comes. It's almost like something... It's a bit fixed. Right, now they should all be out, right? Holy shit, here the dog. All right, so it was not um, the guy waking up those dogs. They simply go out for an insane brief uh, time, short time. And also, I'm not sure why I got an alarm. There, there is nobody else anymore over here. The other dog was out. I do think there are only two dogs here. And the um, human enemy was out as well. So it's just you're in front of a dog and a, t a timer starts ticking and you have like three seconds and then it's just an alert state. It's really quite annoying. So really the best thing is, yeah, I could try it, it could maybe help, let's just try it. My plan is to throw some meat, so let's get some food, god damn it snake, because this really is not going anywhere. And those snakes actually, they were like super nutritious. But my plan actually is to throw some fish. I think dogs prefer fish over snakes. So let's go and grab some fish. Shit, it is a crocodile that I'm shooting here. Already shot it a couple of times. So let's make the best of it. there was another box. I only picked up two. Uh, 
whatever. Be live ones. First, let's cure snake. Holy shit. This is a live snake, always good. Let's also get a couple of these combolas. They are super nutritious. And another snake. Some more combolas. Uh, I think we are good to go. Food is full. Let's see if we can take anything from this. No. Nope. All full. So food does have like a maximum, that's also good to know. First, get some food tips. Hopefully, there are some new ones. You can capture animals alive by using the tranquilizer gun or a mouse trap. When you capture a live animal, you can carry it on you as a weapon by going to backpack in the survival viewer. Once an animal is on your person, equip it and press the weapon button to throw it. Throwing a venomous animal at an enemy might be enough to knock him out. Even non-venomous animals like frogs can be used to distract the enemy's attention. And since I know you're going to ask me, yes, keeping animals alive prevents them from rotting and makes them taste better when you eat them. Remember though, you've only got three cages for capturing live animals. All right. Snake, that area is inhabited by the poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. They normally grow between two and five centimeters in length, but for some reason the ones in that area seem to be much bigger than that. Poison dart frogs are known to carry a potent neurotoxin called pomeliotoxin. Long ago, people used the poison to coat their arrows for hunting. Watch out, because if you eat one, you'll get food poisoning. All right, one more. When you get hurt, your body will heal itself naturally over time. However, the speed at which your life recovers depends on how much stamina you have at the time. The more stamina you have, the faster you'll recover. So if you want your wounds to heal quickly, you should eat something and replenish your stamina first. Good one. Let's also see if we can talk with Eva. That area is known as Chorny mm. Prude. The name means something like the Black Shore in Russian. It got its name from the deep swamp that covers the area. The crocodiles in that swamp are extremely vicious. Apparently, they've already chewed up a bunch of soldiers out on patrol. Now, no one even dares to go near the swamp. 
They said that most of the soldiers who were killed were attacked from behind while they were in the water. You be careful out there. Alright, so Eva, paramedic is for food, second is for weapons, major is for the mission, and uh, paramedic is also discussing movies in the save menu, and Eva is I think for environmental area tips. Eva, uh, what kind of unit are those ocelots I fought a little while ago? The Ocelot Unit is an elite group composed of soldiers handpicked from among the ranks of Spetsnaz, the Special Forces. I think we Forces already heard group. this one. They've undergone even more rigorous training than regular Spetsnaz. Their skill with weapons is the stuff of legends. You'll find they're much better shots than the rest of Gru. Watch yourself. All right, that was the. Uh, the crevice that no leads one. to the cave is still a ways to the north. Keep heading that way. All right. She doesn't want any... The crocodiles more. in that swamp are extremely... Alright. She doesn't want to divulge any more information. So, uh, I forgot. Let's eat. Uh, those Russian rations are not the best, but let's take them anyways. Yes. Yes, And... The Golovas are really good, so I won't take them because it will be a waste of nutrition. Nutrients, because we don't need that much uh, stamina. The arowana is pretty tasty. Let's eat a crocodile or nah. Yeah, we can eat the crocodile. Not too bad. All right, we are all good to go. I will save the game as soon as I'm in the next area. And now we have a bit more options at least. I still don't really understand how this saving works. If I save here, Take it that the game, yeah. If I load the game, it will load me up here, I would say. But modern games, so you're just so used to auto saves and stuff that apparently I totally forgot to save when quitting the game yesterday evening. Uh, so I always have to keep that in mind. Uh, but let's save it now. You want to save? Hold on a sec. Uh, this, by the way, is what I meant. This save is from yesterday, 9.53 and 45 seconds. I assume that is playtime. And this one is from today, the 6th of August. This is the 5th of August. And the playtime here is... 9.53 and 23 seconds. I really find it a bit weird that this was the one where I booted the game up with. So I would assume that the counter starts from 9.53.45. Apparently it starts earlier or something. Or what could be is that it doesn't count seconds and only minutes or something that the mi that the second counter starts with zero but i didn't already save after 23 seconds only nope it's just really weird anyways let's do a new save this one did work i saved afterwards another time and this one did work it w went to 57 so I assume this one will work as well. Here we go. And this one goes to 10 something, hopefully. 11.04. Chin up. I'll be in touch. All right, again, I totally don't understand that. 11.04. 
the last save was at 9.53. We didn't play like a full hour now. One second. Do you want to save? This is really like a super weird save mechanic. I think we only played like 25 minutes yet. And the time between here and there, it's like um, what is that? That is one hour and seven minutes. We for sure didn't play one hour and seven minutes. So I find this a totally weird save mechanic. So I really have to pay attention when saving that it simply uh, locks the, the biggest, highest number. So that at least I can choose that one the next time I uh, start up because if you just put the game down for a couple of days it will be really hard to remember which save that you uh, was the last one one or two or three and um, yeah apparently these playtime numbers are pretty inconsistent but hopefully uh, the, 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 the main thing will be that your last save will be the one with the highest playtime number Although that is not always the case, apparently, as I uh, noticed like uh, earlier tonight with that 953. The, 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 the 953, 23 over there is shorter than the save that uh, was already there. Uh, so that's really weird that the, the last save is shorter than a previous save. Assuming this is playtime, the, the right column the top right uh, the most right column but whatever i'm uh, babbling uh too much maybe it is because i'm not online no i am online so there shouldn't be any clock synchronization issues or anything and that yeah that can't be anything else than Yeah, it, no, it cannot be anything else than, than playtime because the current time here is, is uh, 37 past midnight. So that really has nothing to do with 11.04. But whatever, let's get the hell out of here. Take care, Snake. I will. And finally, let's get past those dogs and get the frog over there. I was pretty sure that there were two mines over here. Uh, probably, it, I would assume that it respawns them all if you leave the area, but apparently it remembered me taking some. Fine by me. what happens if I throw some meat all right we have some snakes but I am going to throw some fish and maybe some crocodile Let's go like so, and let's throw it on the ground.
Right, what does this do? Except for the dog feeding. I hope it will go to sleep. Man, it's a bit much, this whole uh, thing. Of course, my camouflage is not the best over there. So, I probably should first get to the other side, lie down, and then do my thing. I'm too exposed on that branch. But it did work pretty well, throwing some food. Oh shit, there it comes. Will he see me? Pretty good chance. Yeah, shit. Whoa. Here we go. No more kidding around, people. Maybe a bit frustrating how often I, I am redoing certain sections, but it's also pretty rewarding because I do have the feeling that I'm actually getting better at the game. That it's not all for nothing, so to say. All right, let's throw the food. Um, that fish that certainly went perfect so one fish two fish good to go let's select it and throw it Alright, don't mind me. Why is the other dog not also coming to eat? Holy shit, my camouflage suddenly totally changed. The rating. I am going with the, this one. No, stay over there, dog. Ah, that's what I mean. Very nice, the dogs go to sleep after eating. But he will wake up the dog, or not. No, he won't. But I must say, that guy is here. way too observant. If I throw another food source now, the guy will immediately turn around again. I mean, he heard it the first time. So let's see how far that guy walks. He walks totally to the other side. Oh, 
Alright, I'm not throwing it. Stop, dog, stop. Ooh. Yeah, this is close quarters. Holy shit. Alright, here we go. Very nice. And the guy didn't hear anything now, so that's also good. Now I have to keep my eye open on the price, which of course is the collectible frog, should be here somewhere, holy shit, now they also stay out way longer than uh, compared to a tranquilizer round, pretty happy with this. really took some time for me to get right but i am happy how it turned out all right we have some quicksand over here where is the guy Where is the guy? There is the guy. And where is the frog? It can be anywhere. So I really have to keep my eyes open. You can also throw enemies in the quicksand. It's pretty funny, but it's all quite gruesome. And we are the moral hero. We will be trying to go for a no kill run. I'm going to try and hold up that guy, that it will be fun. I wonder, will he now be walking all the way back in that snail pace? I'm afraid he will. Looking forward to holding him up. The cool thing of that is that actually you can keep him down forever as long as they are not um, discovered. And that will also be my plan for the four enemies over there. I do have, in the previous episode, I, I failed a lot. I do have a plan to tackle it. And I initially said I will be um, going to it from the same direction as yesterday. But now as I'm already here, I will just continue over there from the direction we are in now. Holy shit, he's coming over here. Oh, what the? Nope. No, no. Who is that? Oh. All right. Didn't really have a choice. Sorry. Luckily, that worked. Um, and now my plan is to hold him up. That can be quite tricky but I'm gonna try anyways I am going to first let's drag him to a better place like a bit more over here 
Ah, of course this is also a way. Then I will equip my weapon. I will kick him. It should speed up his recovery. Uh, he's almost getting up already. And then once he is up. Ah, fuck me. It's such a... It's such a twisty... Or not twisty game, but it's just... Alright, if you know what to do, it's not that hard. So I now know what to do with the food and the dogs. But come on, it is just... I had to be like a little bit closer to him. Alright, I will just try to do it all a bit quicker. Hmm. Um. Oh, fuck me. I'm eating them. That's enough. No more. All right, I am going to do this over. Hello. All right, somehow that is something they do not see. Hello, dogs. I didn't equip the food. I accidentally ate the food. And food is actually pretty precious if you can use it to bypass those dogs because there will be more dogs ahead as well so i don't want to spoil it so to say all right let's equip the food as a weapon uh good to go by the way i should also make more use of that indeed with that guard uh, that I want to hold up I need to distract them more I'm also gonna tr throw food at him actually I'm to you can really I think the game is really easy or um, easier if you know the mechanics and what uh, each uh, function can achieve and for how long and what the radius is of the the view co the cone of the enemies and stuff I'm getting more and more a feel of it, but you really have to also, it's not like you have to rush through it. You have to be methodical. And if you are, then actually you can get through these areas really quickly, but I'm still really like messing about doing trial and error. But yeah, that's just me. For instance, now I have no idea whether I can throw something through this fence or not. I'm just going to try. No, apparently I cannot. That's what I mean. It really just requires some trial and error. the good thing would be if I can use only one of these food items for both dogs that would be my main wish so if the other dog comes along that would be great then I will throw it over there yes great they both see it Hopefully, they will both eat from the same. Very nice. But it's also still really weird that that. Oh shit. Almost forgot to change my camo. That the uh, enemy, that he comes from all the way from the back 
that, it, that simply doesn't make sense in my book. But maybe that's just me. I can't make use of that situation by throwing something from for him. Alright, I'm going into un different undergrounds. There's so nothing here. Now I'm suddenly going from high camo to very low. So again, I have to change it. Tiger Stripe is an option, but Desert Tiger is even better. And let's try to hold him up. Both the dogs are asleep. So we are good to go. And here we go. Only problem is Yeah shit. He's walking too fast for my stalking uh, method. Holy shit. Please go to the left. And yes, he does so. So this is all going pretty good. And this is exactly what we want. Freeze! Ah! So this is the hold up. Super funny. Um, and now I can get his items. No, wait! By aiming oh. at his vital parts. Like his penis oh. and his head. Alright. Oh. And again. See, quite a lot comes out. Oh. And ah, those booklets I also can use to distract them. The enemies. Never really made use of it, but I think that's also a very valuable uh, mechanic. Hello. Oh. I don't think he has any more. Oh. Ah shit! The booklet disappeared. What a bummer. What's up with that? All right, now I am going to put him down. So that will be a hard one. I have to... Ah. <laughs> like so. Now I am throwing him to the ground. Like... Uh, oh! So? Freeze! Ah! Holy shit, that was a really, really... Uh, uh, how would you say it? A close call. Um, because I didn't have my weapon equipped. I, I needed to quickly equip my weapon and while I was doing so I actually Almost he got the He got me, but that's the thing I can also lower my weapon by Letting go of the square button, but that's such a... Well, the weapon will still be equipped in my, in the bottom right screen, but I so, I'm so bad at that mechanic. 
because if you let it go ah this is what i mean i will just do like so yeah this is what i mean i accidentally shot him it's such an annoying um mechanic all right let's get him back up And again, I'm such an idiot. He will sleep. I shot him. I think at least I shot him. Yes. I see the dart. Oh, oh man. I'm really screwing this up. Um, guys, I have to end the episode here. I will continue screwing around in one more episode after this one. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget. Always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.